All right, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna to be reacting to The Apothecary Diaries, season one, episode two. So in the last episode, basically a girl named Mau Mau was a apothecary, got kidnapped, got sent to, was it like the South Palace? Which is basically a place where all the concubines like live to grow the emperor's seed. I really need to come up with a better way to like explain that. But tons of children were dying along with the girl Lee was child. And oh gosh, Gyokyo, Gyoko, Gyokyo. I just, I feel like I just want to call her Gyo. Gyo, can I just call her Gyo? Freak. Mau Mau figured out it was the baby powder or the powder that was causing them to get sick. Now Mau Mau is the lady, the lady in waiting of Kyo. And while I was reacting to it in the last episode, I was wondering, like, why does Lady in Waiting sound so familiar? And basically, it's going to be a weird, like, segue into this. But I remember Lady in Waiting for uh, Rain. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight on to it. Make sure you put the original content, as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. Anjanai. Would it be crazy of how like this anime could just turn and turn so quickly? Like she just turns and just starts poisoning everyone. Oh yeah, uh, the war. Hey! Ah! Uh, poison! Poison. Enough. Go and tend to the soldiers. Who are you? You look important. That is until you die. Poison. The food was cooked by the villagers. Their leader has been placed into custody on suspicion of aiding the barbarians. Concubine Gyokyo. Word is she has a new lady in waiting. Ah, uh, yes. yes. She has only four women serving her. Despite their similar rank, concubine Li Hua has over ten by her side. Not only is she warm and gentle, her intelligence and discernment serve- They just keep on boosting up. Kyo. Survival is based on a single rule. Be wary of everyone. Yeah. So, who is this new lady in waiting? <laughs> That's why I don't get, like, why Liwa would have ten. Sketchy. Her knowledge of medicine would be wasted washing laundry. Yes, perhaps. But if she were ever to abuse that power... I will make sure it say. never comes to that. Just start it won't poisoning. be too difficult. But just in case, I suppose I should seduce her a little. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to work. Are you ready to move, Apothecary? <laughs> yes. I'm on my way to the Jade Pavilion soon. The hatred they have. Oh my first. gosh. Don't touch your forehead. I'm positive that you'll serve concubine Kyo Kyo. It's not going to work. <laughs> oh, he's so full of himself. I take it you're Mao Mao. Um, yes. I am Hong Young, the head lady in waiting. It's good to meet you. Oh, Hong Yun? I need... I don't just need names. I need pronunciations. I've been waiting for you, Momo. <laughs> and Shaoling's happy to see you too. What's the name? These are the other ladies in waiting. I'm Inghua. Nice to meet you. If there's anything you want to know, ask me. Name's Gui Yin. Welcome to the Jade Pavilion. You'll love it here. And you may call me Ailan. We're all so pleased to make Ilan. your acquaintance. I then I'll assist with the- <gasps> You should go to your room and rest up! Huh? No need to exert yourself the first day! Besides, you have a special task coming up! She's hiding them with those bandages, but there are scars on her arms. To top it all off, she's been assigned the worst job imaginable. Who Why taste should that poor sweet, sweet girl have to suffer such a cruel fate? What is it? This promotion comes with some benefits, at least. I feel like this is way too good to be true. Ready for your new role? Your job Who is taster? poison taster. Okay, figured. Poison? In fact, when concubine Gyokyo became pregnant, her food was poisoned at least twice. What? The taster back then received nerve damage and still can't move her hands or feet. The cost of the job. Here you are. Can you sense Proceed. the poison without tasting it? Huh? They use ceramic bowls? Back when I lived near the brothel, so I used to do a lot of experiments using my arm as a test subject. 
Ah, that's okay. So have you built up an immunity? I've gradually built up an immunity against poison. Should I even be talking? If you want my opinion, you should switch to silver plates. They react when making contact with toxins. Ooh. It's like Master Jean she said. Nice. We use ceramics on purpose. <gasps> that was all his idea? <laughs> Basically, you would rather take less pay if it means not supplying the scoundrels who took you with extra drinking money? Mm-hmm. Not bad, right? Uh... Is it poisoned? You couldn't afford it with your lady-in-waiting salary. There won't be any money to send to your family. As a matter of fact, we might need to charge them instead. Uh, this is your separate hazard pay as a poison taster. It's almost equal to my regular salary. And best of all, my kidnappers don't get a cut of this. Yeah. And now they have to pay for the broken paws? At first I thought she was being rude, but never mind. Tasters have a pretty easy schedule. I'm called every day for two meals and tea time. Oh gosh. I finally have my own room. Mau Mau! Bleak? Quit pig. Actually, he did. There has to be something else <laughs> for you to do. How come you're immune? He's immune to a lot of things. I received these from a military officer oh, earlier. They look so good. Tasting them. There's an aphrodisiac baked in. You can tell without eating one? She was an apothecary. You knew, and by smell alone. Did this creeper just try to make me eat one knowing they have an aphrodisiac in them? <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. There's a reason behind it. I have another question for you. Yes, what is it? A squad of soldiers were out on a mission to attack some barbarians the other day and wound up being poisoned. Those do sound like the symptoms What do you know all poison. this? Aren't you just the in charge of the in southern village. palace? They arrested the village leader for assisting the barbarians, but an officer defused the situation and has put the decision on hold. This flower is called a rhododendron. Okay. Does it taste good? Nope. Eating them actually causes nausea and difficulty with breathing. Whoa. Nice. There are even instances of wood emitting toxic fumes when it's burned. Like in a fire. Oh, do they burn certain things? How are you at making aphrodisiacs? Huh? Uh, probably pretty good. If she could just smell it. <gasps> it's only one of my greatest passions! I'm confident I can make something like that. Hey, aren't there other apothecaries? Master Jinchi, where are you headed? Unfortunately, my work is a very demanding mistress. Some other time. <sighs> Not only is Master Jinchi here to ensure there's peace, but to test their loyalties, but to place you in the rear palace, and using your beauty as a means to test their true character. Our Emperor can be quite cunning. We all use whatever we're given. Are we gonna see the That's Emperor? I've never had anyone look at me so harshly in my life! <sighs> Great, he's one of those people. That person might visit you tonight. Tonight. Don't. 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 No, no. Mm. So, who's gonna be the food taster when she's gone? Beg your pardon? You're Miss Mao Mao. We haven't met. My name is Gao Xuan. I serve as Master Jin Chi's assistant. She's a servant girl. Why does she get to set foot in my domain? Because you suck. I've been instructed to let you use anything in this room. Gosh, how much stuff is there? Goodness gracious. All the drugs you can think of. Here. Hmm? Oh, thank you very much. Mm. That's not enough. Was that, that chocolate? Seed? It's cacao. If you require more. C cacao. Seeds from a small tropical American evergreen tree. Wait, it, I'm sorry, is it coca? I tasted cacao just once in the past. This is chocolate, Mel Mel. It, oh my gosh, it is chocolate. I... If I could reach my back, I would pat it. I can only do neck, though. I didn't use all of it. I know. You mean to tell me uh, apothecaries uh, are just uh, chocolatiers? Yeah, these probably don't need to be cooled. <sighs> Something's gonna happen to those. I got a bit carried away. Y yeah, what about Apologies the for being so late! <laughs> They're pissed. They ate. At the very least, we know they're effective. It's not oh, her good. fault. They didn't go all the way. 
It's quite strong, so best to limit intake to one piece at a time. Too many could cause a massive increase in blood flow and result in nosebleeds. Perhaps you can oh, make a batch of those nice. for the Emperor while you're at it, to keep things lively. It should be around three times more potent than the usual tonic. I'll take my leave, but this has been most informative. What is he going to do this? Do, do it with? So the new girl is capable of making drugs. <sighs> what a beneficial skill. I, I don't know if I trust Kyo like 100%. Yo, back up. This man, this man just knows. A little thief. Well, just as long as nobody gets hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like people are gonna get hurt. <sighs> yeah, I can't see that. And this does not help me out, like literally at all. All I know is they just haven't gotten that much sleep. I should know. Am I crazy in thinking that this guy has taken up like so much responsibility? Like I get it. He is like the, the master or whatever of the Southern or the South palace, right? But why would he have information about military stuff? Like what goes on in the military? Would, would that even be sent to him? Maybe, I, maybe I'm just thinking way, way too much into it. Freak it. I find it, I find it funny how this interaction is almost like Kurama and Nanami in Kamisama Kiss, where Kurama has been just gotten used to all this infatuation coming from women that he thinks he could just do anything and he can woo any girl in, in, any girl, any girl. And then when it comes to a certain someone, it just doesn't affect them whatsoever. Like Mamo, not the type. Though, very end, I was like, okay, well... Maybe there's, there, maybe there's something. Oh, gosh. And then you have the other lady in waitings. Goodness gracious. These names. It, how, how important is it to know these names? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Basically, the setup is Mau Mau is the poison tester. It's what she does. Everybody else does everything else. So if it was anybody else, I feel like they would hate being the poison taster. But since Mau Mau can not only build an immunity to most poisons, she can find something wrong with it just by looking at the dishes, smelling the food, and all that jazz. So she's fine. But because she's so fine with it, it's boring for her. Like She wants to be making stuff. So during this time, he asks her, or he tells her about the story that's happening with the military, and he, he asked her opinion. She basically said, hey, could be the sticks that they were using in the fire. Causes, causes all, all that stuff. Then he asked her to make an aphrodisiac. Now, I don't know if that is supposed to be for the other concubines. If it's supposed to be... Actually, let me listen to this again. Maybe I just skipped it. Okay, 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 okay. I'll put it together. He received those dumplings from a military officer. He felt kind of sketched out about it, so he he gave it to Mau Mau to test. Mau Mau found out there was an aphrodisiac, so he was like, "Uh, because of who gave me it, I'm not gonna eat it." But then he asked her like, "Hey, since I have your attention, this whole military thing, what what the heck is happening?" She was like, "Oh yeah, because the sticks, most likely." And then he asked her to make some aphrodisiacs, and then in this thing, uh, we get a little, a little snippet of what the emperor is thinking in which he had him be the the lead of the eunuchs because of how good looking he is and he wants to weed out any of the concubines who aren't faithful to the emperor so he, he's using this guy's good looks to do so pretty smart <laughs> so she makes the aphrodisiac uh we get a little scene for all the other Lady in waitings. <laughs> oh, anime. So she gives it the, the aphrodisiacs to uh, uh, Jinchi. Don't know what he's going to use it on. I don't think we ever got like what he was using it on. Maybe in the next episode. But Kyo asked, like, "Hey, can you make some for the emperor?" And Mao was like, "Okay, this is this would be three times as potent as the stuff that you guys already use." And she's like, "You know what? Let's uh." 
let's stick to just the tonics. And this, this little scene right here. I don't know. Like, from the very beginning of this episode, when they kept on talking Kyo up, like, she's the greatest, she only has four lady in waiting, like, yada, 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 bada bing, bada boom. Like, they just, they, they're making her out to be a very good character, which is, which is fine. The only problem I have with that is that a lot of the times they do so, and then it just turns out that she's this mastermind, like, bad guy in the end. So, because of that, I'm putting some hesitancy on believing everything she says. Like, I feel like she could definitely make Mau Mau make a poison and then her use it on someone else. So I, I will be hesitant up until, let's say, episode 12. Then I'll be like, okay, I believe her. But anyways, that was my reaction to The Apothecary Diaries Season 1, Episode 2. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, put a comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.